Hi 6P, this is Thursday's Maths Input. So, to start us off again, we've got a couple of um, quick flashback fours looking at a range of things. So we've got calculate 864 divided by 4. Now technically if you look at that, if you split that up, you've got A and then 64, you might be able to do that in your head. If not, use short division. Number two is a written subtraction. Again, most of you will probably be able to do that in your head. And number three is rounding to the nearest 10. So you round to the nearest 10. So you look next door at four. Well, that's where you go, sorry. You like to start at the five. If I have a more raise the score, so think about what you're going to do to that ten digit. Number four, does the angle measure 125 degrees? So have a look here. What type of angle is drawn and what type of angle is this? Okay, think about that when you answer it, and then you've got your Roman numerals there. Second one doesn't like me my scroll so this half of the equation needs to match this half of the equation so 63 divided by 7 so think what that is and then divided by 3 is the same as what divided by 3 divided by 7 it's a balanced equation and you've got a written multiplication round is the nearest 100 this time and then the fourth one if angle x is angle x acute or obtuse think what you know about angles on a straight line what do they add up to i'm hoping you're all going 180 add up what you've got subtract it is it well if you, if you work out is that acute or obtuse and to be honest you should be able to work that one out pretty easy because you're not having to work out the missing angle. You're just going to have to say whether it's acute and obtuse and use your knowledge of what you know about acute and obtuse angles. Okay? Right. Oh, and obviously you're Roman numeral. Today and tomorrow's mystery is the mystery of the locked cupboard. Now, when I did the, the hidden treasure one... I said on the video that this is part one and there will be part two. And there were lots of children on the Tuesday going, oh miss, I've got loads of islands left over because you're not watching the video or if you're putting it on, you're not listening to me. I, guys, how many times I tell you I'm very wise. I tell you things that you need to know. So this is part one. So you're not going to get rid of every single person. You will have some left and please read the instructions carefully. It's very easy to... Um, rush ahead you think oh i should get it done and then i can chill out on my xbox or whatever but you're doing it wrong so it's just being sent back to you because you're doing it wrong and then it takes twice as long okay so take your time so the mystery of the lock cupboard it's the start of a new school year and mr wilson is busy making sure that all of the resources in his new class will need that his new class will need are exactly where they should be he remembers that at the end of last term one of the year five pupils locked all of the tablets safely in the storage cupboard for the holidays however when mr wilson goes to key cupboard he discovers that the key is missing mr wilson frantically racks his brain desperately trying to remember who he asked to lock the cupboard if he can work out who helped him he might be able to find the missing key before the new school year starts can you help mr wilson work out the mystery key keeper Kiki, that's a tongue twister, and uh, um, was by solving the clues. I need to push your tongue twister. Okay, so we have got the name of the pupil, whether they're male or female, long or short hair, their height, and their special role in school. So their school council, eco, peer support, tuck shop team. Oh, I'd love to be on the tuck shop team. That's food. Um, and then what I have done, like last time, is I have typed their names at the side. Because this here is a picture. You cannot edit this because it is a picture, which is what I said on all the other videos. But I still had children going, Miss, it won't let me cross them off because this is a picture. That's why I've typed the name. So if you are getting rid of Alex, you either highlight Alex or you highlight him, you put a strike through his name, whatever you want to do, but you, the names are there for you to cross out or highlight off, okay?
So, clue one. <clears throat> Order each set of numbers from the smallest to the greatest. Take the last number in each set and circle it on the table. And then rearrange the words to find your first clue. So, you order them from the smallest to the greatest. So, again, it's your largest number at the end. So, I've given you room here where you can type out your numbers. So, if you want to be typing them out, so you could say, right, okay, my smallest in that one is going to be 4,256. And then it will be, and then the next one, and the next one. So you can type them out there if you want to do your working out on the Word document. Or you can do it paper form, it's absolutely fine. You can do a mixture if you want. Then, all your answers are here. So if your answer is not on here, you have gone wrong somewhere. So then, um, if you think that's the answer, highlight it, and then you'll have to rearrange all the shaded words to find your first clue. Now, the other one went in order. So it went, um, zoom. it's not liking that today. Not liking zooming. It, the other one went in the order. It went from here to here to here. So the first one is, might be telling you whether they are male or female, whether they are a girl or a boy, okay? Next one is, again, check the calculation to see whether it is correct or if it's incorrect, okay? So these are number sequences. If a calculation or sequence is right, put a tick. If it is wrong, put a cross. Count up the number of ticks and crosses. If you have more ticks, more correct answers, then the key, key keeper has long hair. And if you've got more crosses, so if you've got more wrong answers, then the key keeper has short hair. So look, is it going in a logical step? It doesn't have to go in, up in steps of one, it could go up in steps of five. Okay, but have a look at it. Is it the sequence correct or do they balance out? Okay, so for example, is the statement correct? Is 8 to 6,600... 867,201 greater than 876,201, yes or no, okay? And then again, I've put the num they've numbered them at the side and then you can write, doesn't allow me this today, you can write your answers whether it's correct or incorrect and then I've put it there for you. So then you're going to find out whether they have short hair or long hair. Remember, you won't have crossed out all the names. If you, um, it might be worthwhile, I might, um, well, it is worthwhile, make sure you have a list or highlight who you have left so we can check whether you are correct or not, okay? Please read the instructions carefully and watch all this video.